Hi there, Jojo Mayer here. Uh, we're here with my band Nerve in Poland on a European tour and I'm here to give you a quick rundown of the equipment that I use on this tour. All right. Well, so maybe we'll start with the far left and go to the right. Uh, over here I kind of have my electronic rig which is really basic. Uh, um, this is the Allen Heat mixer from how I use, you know, how we uh, communicate with like the house. So we don't use wedge monitors on stage. Everything is uh, going through this box into my in-ears, which actually, uh, oh, this is a, uh, called ME1 by Allen Heath. And we, tra we travel with our own desk, which will make sound check uh, simpler. And so I use those in-ear stage drivers which is a German company and they're very very I just got them new and I'm really excited about those because they are actually not custom mold but they feel like a custom mold it's it's really a new proprietary system and they sound awesome and they, they, they make from all the way from two drivers to like eight drivers and everybody in the band is like using those and, and it's great because if like something breaks you can just like re replace them and, and they really feel like uh, molded uh, ear pieces so it's like that All right. so that's that and they're called in ear <laughs> anyway then uh, uh, I use uh, uh, a TM2 this is like a really simple you know brain from where I uh, trigger some of my electronic sounds <laughs> you know, those type of things, and I also triggered the bass drum, you know, you can, it's kind of hard to tell with this, but, okay, I have like different sounds, yeah. and so on, you know, so, this is that thing, they're, they're, they're really simple sounds, they're not really too, too, too crazy, you know, kind of like very generic, uh, okay, then I um, I affect a return from the house with Eventide H9. It's an effect processor will, which by YouTube, uh, by uh, Bluetooth, <coughs> is um, I drive the program. So this is a thing that I use a lot. I don't know if you can hear it. No, unfortunately it's out. But uh, yeah, the house is off. But uh, I use a lot of delays and effects and distortion and compression. And it also comes from here. <coughs> then right here is a sync. Is this is a clone? Uh, uh, Do-it-yourself build clone that a company in Sweden makes. It's a clone of a machine that Pearl used to make in 1980. It's called a Syncussion. It's basically like an electronic drum synth. So like it allows me to do some like sample and hold sounds. <laughs> Uh, it's a pretty cool machine. I love it. I've been looking for those and like the originals are very very hard to get. Um, they're kind of like thousands of like dollars. So there's a company that actually makes those. But you have to put them together yourself. Anyway, uh, do the drums. Uh, do the cymbals first. Okay, here um, uh, I have a, a 14 by uh, 5 and a half snare. Uh, this is a... The kid is a... The kid is a Prolite, uh, solo Prolite. It's a it's a major shell. So this is a five and a half by by fourteen, and I use it with a hoop crash and like Sabian makes, which is the thing that kind of goes on top of the snare. So I can get different type of sound, but I can also play the snare without it, you know. So. I can get a lot of different sounds out of this drum. So I have this sound. But then I can also use it like this, you know. I, I use one of these uh, fake fat snare sheets 
That really changed the sound completely. So I can go from this. Two more of this. Okay, so many, many diff different sounds. The heads on this tour, I use regular uh, G1 Evans level 360. They're pretty versatile and work, work for pretty much everything. Uh, okay, next, this drum is a 14 by five. Same concept, I, I tune it really high. You know, I can take this off and want to play some like jungle stuff. Okay, different sound. Uh, here, 14 by 14 inch floor tom. The same thing, it's a little unconventional, but I use one of these two. I have a regular sound here, but with this. I have more of like an electronic sound, so I can do stuff like... Okay, nice sound. This is a 10 by 8, and I tune it really high to get a little bit of like a contrast. It's kind of like an interesting thing. Sometimes I turn the snare off to get some like, you know, uh, more melodic stuff. Okay, that's basically this. Now, um, the cymbals, uh, I use a, a 14 inch, Fierce hot hat. This is something that I designed. This is actually a prototype. There's a little bit of like a pronunciated bell, but this is a really dry hi hat, you know? And it allows me to get a lot of different sounds from like really like machine like to like more like. And it's very dry and it doesn't really go, go, go out of control. Even, even if I do stuff like. Like with a normal hi-hat you will get too much, you know, so this is kind of like a nice thing. Um, it sounds good for like machine stuff. That type of stuff. This is its little little brother or sister, it's just the same thing, but in a 10-inch uh, fierce hat. What's really cool about this is that it's um, also very loud, so like usually small hi-hats like this are not that don't have this much amplitude. So I don't have to hit it hard, I can. Okay, so it always comes, speaks out. This is kind of like a thing that I've been doing for like years. It's a 14 inch hand hammered China symbol. And uh, on top I have a perforated uh, 13 inch fierce uh, hi-hat top. That type of sound. Ew, that sort of vibe. Yeah. Uh, this is a HHX Omni symbol. This is also something that I designed. It's kind of like a, a crash ride in a, in, in a way. So uh, I, can, I can get a lot of different. But I can also crash ride it. No, oh, because I have only two symbols now, I need more voices from, from one symbol. This is a fierce crash signature, also what I designed. Uh, it's 19 inch, so it's a little bit of like a contrast to this, like deep oriental sound. Like 
Okay. So that's that. The symbols are sabians, uh, obviously. Um, my drumsticks are Vic First, Jojo Mayer's signature. And, oh, I almost forgot. Very important. We have, uh, <laughs> actually, the most important, like without that, everything would sound completely different. Yeah. Um, is my bass pedal, which is uh, made by Sonor. It's called a Perfect Balance pedal. And there's two versions. Uh, this is the old version, it's the signature version, which with this button here, you can push it and can collapse it for like transportation, which I like. I always bring my pedal. But there is also the standard version, which is a little bit cheaper, but it's non, it's non collapsible. It's like, uh, that's just actually it's just hitting the market, I think, yeah. this, this week. Okay, this is new. So, uh, nice with this, you can mount it, it just takes you one, two, three <laughs> seconds, and then it's mounted. <laughs> and I can play. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I think that's that. Uh, what about shell sizes? I mean, you've told us about the tom, but the floor tom and the kick drum. Yeah. What are the shell sizes here? Depth oh, the shell, yeah, I to, uh, this, this is 14 by 14. Okay. Oh, uh, the bass drum is a. Uh, the bass drum is 20 by, uh, I think it's 20 by, by 16. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a kit that Sonor gave me for this European tour. Uh, the kits that I play at home in New York, I prefer 14-inch uh, bass drums. Uh, they're easier to play and easier to manage with like the microphone. But it's a great sounding bass drum actually, I, I really like that. Yeah, big sound. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that. Yeah, I only have uh, my shoes that I need <laughs> after the gig because with the gig I play those. I put leather soles on it, you know, <laughs> so I can slide on the on the pedal. But that's that. Yeah. Okay.